Hello and welcome to a special Vintage Cube Draft. This is the Feeder League for the 64 players. We've already played two of those. And um, what do we have here? We don't have real power, but we have grief, balance, max, diamond, swords, plowshares, and period aim. A shout out to Pyrogoyf. I don't want to just start with the Mox Diamond, though. Hexringer's also very good. So is Grief. Um, I just like having fast mana, and Mox Diamond is close enough to a Mox that I think we should take it here. Honorable mention to Balance. If Balance comes back after we take this Mox, then it's, it's game on. That's OP. Mox Diamond's so good with balance because you discard a card also and you get another another like piece on the board that is not affected by the, the Mox. Hmm. Okay, so now... There's another Goyf. If that Pyro Goyf comes back, there's a Copter, a Bob, an Echo. I don't... I mean, I like the draw seven decks, but I don't think second picking Echo is right here. I should probably just take this stupid copter. Leaves me the most open, not like completely open because you don't play this in non-creature decks, but you play it in every creature deck. All right, sure. Copter me. Let's go, Copter. Let's go. All right, so we wheel this Pyrogoyf. It's going to be. That means we maybe wheel that Nethergoyf too, and then we got a combo. But if we wheel the Balance, and I think we might be white, then it's game on. Okay, so now there is. Thopter Foundry, there's a spec, there's a Skull Clamp also, pretty good with balance. Um, I don't know why I'm planning for like balanced wheel. I don't know if it actually does on Magic Online. I think, I mean, is this pack even strong enough for balance the wheel? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, kind of is. Maybe. Uh, I'm just going to take Tamiya. This card's screwed up. Like, it draws you so many cards. It makes artifacts. It does everything. Okay, and now there's a mom and a Samwise, but I'm just going to take this Tarn. We know we're at least halfway on color with it. <laughs> not passing anything that notable like dig through time mom sam dragon maybe omnath if we can uh keep our nose to the ground omnath the wheel okay so now there's a bill which is quite a good card but i think i just want this ponder extruder is also very interesting with tamio stuff but I think I just want the consistency of Ponder. It feels like we're going to be blue. We don't know what our other color is going to be, of course. Okay, so now this is interesting. There's a Nantuko and a Subtlety. Chandra, Ulamog. Nantuko is messed up. And it's very, very good with Pyrogoyf. Start copying Pyrogoyf, and it's like game over. It's also very good with Nadu, of course. Could do Nadu stuff. Uh, but maybe I'm just supposed to take a subtlety. This card's really good. Just stay mono blue. If the subtlety wasn't here, I'd probably take that other card. Oh, Risen Reef to go with our sub subtlety. That's a combo. Nice. 
Uh, I think I just take the freeze though. I mean, if this reef wheels, then like maybe. But this is a, I think pick seven freeze is late. Okay, so now there's a short guy, unholy heat. Jace, mana confluence. I don't really know what I want here. Probably a Shorakai. We don't know if we're red. We don't know if we're white either. Obviously, Scalding Turn's a little bit better if we're red, but like, who cares about that? I haven't played with this card yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's messed up though. Oh my god. Wield the balance. We're doing it now. Okay. Shorko is pretty good with balance too. Alright, blue white artifact balance. Did not wheel the pyro goif. Giver. Not the best in a balance deck, but also not the best. Nether goif. Nether goif came back, but pyro goif didn't. Sad. But understandable. None of these cards are that good with balance. Uh, but maybe I play Giver. Okay. Foundry. Foundry Wield. We haven't seen the sword yet. It's a good sign. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now there's a dig through time. Sam. Sam is kind of funny with subtlety. I just take the artifact though. Hmm, Satya. Uh, artifact. Ooh, that's the perfect talisman for us. And a sunfall? Okay. Alright, blue white artifact balance control. Kind of a go. It's kind of what we're doing here. Okay. And now there is the Z1 ring. Probably want to take that. There's also a Bloodstained Mire, but it's not better than the One Ring. There's Frog. Something. It's a messed up card that we could potentially splash. But I think it's just the ring. I think, I think the ring is the ring is the thing. Alright, so there's Devoted Druid. The squirrel that it combos with we just passed last pack. Still have no power. But we have the one ring of balance, which is kind of like having power. Fuck you, Firebolt. There's also Stoneforge here. I don't think we've seen any of the equipment that goes with Stoneforge. We saw a Skull Clamp, I think. I think we saw a Skull Clamp. Maybe? Maybe that was the last draft. I don't even know. Stoneforge can get this, though. Can get the sword, though. That's something to keep in mind. And Cryptic Coat. Maybe we can wield Stoneforge. We wield Balance. Although those don't usually go in the same deck. So there's Cryptic Coat. There's Oliphant. Discharge. And say Malcolm. I guess I just want the coat. It's not necessarily good with Balance. But neither are any of these other cards. Uh, could take discharge, but I don't have a reason to be. Also, the coat gets better if the stone forge comes back. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Blue card for subtlety. The risen reef didn't come back. That's surprising. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a Mystical Tutor here, and a Sheldock. Mystical seems pretty good with balance. 
I probably have to take it for that reason. It can also be good with Brain Freeze or Sunfall. We need them. Hopefully we get more reasons to make these artifacts good soon. Hell, the Shodok might even come back. Oh, geez. Um, okay, so there's an Atraxa here. And Atraxa is, like, by far the best card here. Paragon. Uh, Paragon does not do that much. I could take Traxa, I could take Path. Lantern would just be like a sideboard card. I could take this stupid dragon too. But I don't want to take dragon this early. We have Mystical. If we get reanimate, we can splash it. If we get flash, attracts is also amazing with flash. Okay, so now there's a spell seeker, which is not that good for us. Stuff out, dress down. The squib could be a white black land. There's also a portal. Portal would be great if we got Tinker. Um, or if we got like Academy and could like cast it. I think it's between Portal and Days here. I'm going to take the Days. Maybe the Portal comes back. Maybe not. Maybe there's a Godless Shrine. It's a Gadgeteer. We don't have anything that combos with it exactly, but I mean, it makes these clues cheap to crack. It makes this bounce for just one. Doesn't do, do anything with Shorikai. I gotta just take the Shrine. Fortune's not blue, so I can't get it with Tarn, but it's like whatever. There's also a desk. Um. Yeah, I want to leave open the door to like reanimating an Antraxa. Oh, Retrofitter? Retrofitter is a good card. So there's the Xander's Lounge. There's a Miscalc. There's a Dam. I don't think we really need Dam. We have a Balance and we have Sunfall. Just gonna take this Retrofitter. All right, I better see some power soon. All right, Meticulous Archive. It's a dual land, but it comes out of play tapped. That's okay. It's also Mystic Confluence. Do I want a Mystic Confluence? I think I just want good mana. All right, speaking of good mana. Oh, look. Oh, the Stoneforge came back. Hell yeah. All right. And we have Cryptic Coat for the Stone Forge. We find the Sword of the Meek. Helps with that too. Okay, there, there's a Malcolm, a Wrath of God, or a Legionnaire. I don't think I mind a Malcolm. Sure, I'll take a Malcolm, I guess. Stern Scolding, I like that. There's also a Duress and a Field of the Dead, but don't really have reasons to play those right now. Okay, so. Now we can pick up the scoop up the dragon and it can get Godless Shrine or Archive. It's pretty good for us. Take a dress down. Sideboard Gadgeteer came back. That's pretty good with our retrofitter. Alright, give me power. Or give me Academy, please. Brain freeze is looking a little 
sus. Or give me library. That's still that's pretty good too. So a flooded strand here. Also, it's pride. Okay. I guess I'm taking this library. Sure. It's not power, but it is power adjacent. In fact, my local group had a power pack, and for a long time, library was in the power pack. But it was always last picked. People didn't respect it. Also, it's probably not as good as most of the power. But we got it out of the power pack. And it's still, I mean, it's still a very good card. Okay. No sort of the meek here, right? No. Sword of the Meek is one card that we're really looking for. Urza or Academy is another one. Oh wow, there's a Tinker and a Solitude and a Cauldron Complete, holy shit. Uh, I'm not actually that good of a Solitude deck. I don't have that many white spells. I could take the Tinker. Oh, I have a portal, right? Where the shit is my portal? Oh, I didn't take it. I didn't take the portal. Okay. So I guess I'll just take this Cauldre Complete. It goes very well with my Mystic. Didn't really get there on the, the Tinker plan, but that's okay. I don't love having to second pick this Cauldre. Maybe I just take that. I kind of just want to take this Tinker and then try and wield this Cauldra. Because, like, uh, the Stoneforge is already, like, good enough, I think. All right. Uh, now we got Star, Aoist, Thought Scouter, Touch. Uh, I think I just take Star. Another way to just hide cards in play for balance. Draws your card when you tinker. It's like an early star, but whatever. All right. Yeah, I like this tinker pick, I think. Like the complete, culture complete might come back. We could also still get a batter skull. Uh, right now our Stoneforge only gets Cryptic Coat. And we're hoping to find a Sword of the Meek as well. And a Batter's Goal or a Cauldre Complete. But I like the Tinker because, um, okay, Karn. Karn is looking pretty good here. So is Force. Um, there's also a Shark. Shark's like kind of good with gadget here. Uh, I just could take the force though. All right, so if we get blight steel or um, we could also find a, uh, oh, there's an underworld breach here. That goes pretty decently with our, I mean, we have brain freeze, but we don't have any other combos for it. I just take this remand. Um, I was saying we could get Gadgeteer. Oh, uh, we could get Basalt Monolith for the Gadgeteer. I'm not sure if we passed it yet, though. I'm just going to take this stupid remand, though. We're kind of a control deck. Right now, our win condition is what? Like, 
Shorikai, a dragon, maybe Malcolm, Tamio. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. We found it. Fifth pick, Clarion Academy. Yeah, I mean, we've kind of been building around this card the whole time. It's amazing with Retrofitter. It's pretty good with Coat, too. Yeah. Give me. Give me the Academy, baby. Counterfall Dahlia Teferi. I kind of want this Teferi. To... Can untap Library. It can untap Academy for using mana on their turn. It's just kind of good with all the counter spells that we have, too. Sure, I'll fuck with the Teferi. Where's, where's my Sword of the Meek, man? Can I just get a Sword of the Meek? Uh, I'll just, I guess I'll just get this Fractured Identity. Wow, Blue White is so open. Alright, Atraxa. You're out. Fractured in. Green Freeze out. Alright. How many more boosters do we have? Oh wow, currency converter? That's awesome. That's what we have. Uh yep. Happy to take that. It's great with Shorakai, Malcolm. Lots of things. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Trent. Oh, we got the college complete back. Nice. That means we're not going to get Sword of the Meek. So we probably can cut this foundry. Let's put this culture complete in. Iconoclast can kind of pop off with Academy. Also, crop rotation. Crop rotation can find Academy. It's a pretty bad splash, though. I guess I should, oh wait, Karn? Yeah, let's just Karn. And then Trinket Mage can find Retrofitter, Currency Converter, Star, Aether Spell Bomb. Yeah, okay. And we get Counter Spell, damn. All right, blue is so open. <laughs> Do I run Tinker just to find and Tinker Cauldra complete is fine against some decks. No reason to play the other shrine now, I think. What are these all these frameless cards? Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're all blue cards too. Let's see. So Tinker gives us oh we have Talmud of Curiosity. Hang on. Crop rotation can get library also or academy. Hold on. We might be onto something here. Star can cast rotation. Converter can cast it. This talisman can cast it. That's it though. I don't have any green sources. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it then. If I had a Savannah, I would run it. Okay. So let's see here. Is this Copter good? We have... Oh, I don't think this Giver is that good. We have... One... 
And that's also kind of a creature. This makes creatures. This makes creatures. This makes creatures. Mystical for days. Or mystical for balance. Tinker. Tinkering up the one ring isn't that bad. And tinkering away the one ring when it's too painful is pretty good too. And just getting a cauldra is pretty good. Like if you just go retrofitter, make a dork tinker, and you're not even really down anything. There are some decks that just can't beat a cauldra complete. That's why Stoneforge is so good with it. Uh, let's see. Let's take a real good look at my non-artifacts. Orkai is an artifact. Subtlety, subtlety doesn't make artifacts. It's very... Dragon doesn't make artifacts. Alchem makes no artifacts. Temio does make artifacts. I'm gonna put the artifacts up here. Huh. Even Sunfall makes an artifact, but only one. This is like a Caleb D artifact combo, like artifact control deck. I have to make so many cuts. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff that makes artifacts. So do I want all these counter spells? I think I probably don't need Stern Scolding in the main deck. Counter spells are, they're really good with Teferi. This is a good Force of Negation deck too. Um, same with subtlety. Dragon can just replace a land. Malcolm. Malcolm's just not that good with what we're doing. Obviously, it's good with converter. And it's a two mana threat that we can flash out. We have lots of stuff to do with our mana. We have clues, mystic. I think this copter is going. Malcolm is going. And then what? Maybe we put the sunfall on the sideboard. We need a board wipe that we can tutor for balance. Sure. Timeless Dragon, we'll play 16 lands, so we need four more cuts. I want all the talismans, the star, all the cheap artifacts. So then what do I not want? I think Gadgeteer is good enough. It can make us a lot of clues. It can make Retrofitter kind of pop off. Uh, I think we just want to go all in on the artifacts and the broken cards. I think I'm going to cut the 
non free counter spells and the Teferi. And then I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve blue cards for four cents total team. But then what's the last card? I mean, are we a day's deck? I don't know if we're a day's deck. I like how days can help us turn library back on. Play 15 lands with dragon, I mean diamond, that doesn't actually help. <laughs> I just don't know what to cut. Maybe I got subtlety. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go all in on artifacts. It's 11 blue sources and six, seven, eight white sources plus talisman and talisman. I should probably add another planes. Now it's two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I like that. I like that better. It's still only fifteen lands. What happened? Guess I don't hate 15 lands. 15 including library and with Mox. I guess I'm just gonna cut the states. Should I? I don't know. I'm just going to try it like this. It would be nice if we got a Kappa Cannon here. Oh, we don't have that. Obviously, it would be nice if we had Urza. It would be nice if we had Sword of the Meek. If I passed Sword of the Meek and didn't notice it, let me know, chat. I did not see it. I did not see it after I took the foundry, but I don't think I saw it before that either. I'll be on the play. Hell yeah. Turn one Tamiyo. 
So we want Tamiyo to turn three Karn or the One Ring. I guess Tamiyo is like a reason to play Days. I am playing Days, right? Yeah, I'm playing Days and Force. Not playing Subtlety. Planes. Kairosaurus. Okay. Let's draw Academy next turn. That would be hot. <laughs> Timeless Dragon. Um, okay. Plane cycle. Play the archive now. That's why I'm plane cycling main phases so I can play the archive. Ooh, yeah. Next turn's gonna be good. Rocket say. A little mean. Uh, okay. I mean, they could have a counter spell, but that's fine. Play Academy now. Tap for four. I'll just lead with Karn. Karn resolved. Awesome. Let's let's actually tick up the Karn here. I get Stoneforge, Spell Bomb. Okay. Give me Stoneforge. Interesting. Okay. I'll just tap five. Play the One Ring. I'm not gonna use the one ring on this turn because then that triggers the must the the mastermind. Oh Jesus. Alright, well now I'll use it. They have hole breacher, huh? And they can kill my Karn. That's pretty bad for me. Hmm. Spellbomb the whole breacher. They're gonna annihilate Karn now. Yep. Well, shit. And they play G Day, okay. Uh, ring dings me. <sighs> well, well, well. Oh, they 
Gracchus. Yeah, Gracchus can bounce my TME. Sure. I want to get Cryptic Coat with this Stone Forge. So let's do that. Let's tap Academy for six. Play the coat. Just a mox diamond. Eternalize the dragon. Play the Tamio. Pass the turn. Oh, this whole breacher is wrecking me. It's wrecking me so hard. What answers do I have to a whole breacher? My main deck? Not much. There's a balance. Uh, fractured identity. Can't get the spell bomb back because Karn died. Fractured identity, my dragon. Oh, they have fractured identity, huh? Mean. They have three energy now. So they can get the hull breacher flying. Oh, this is a bad time. Okay. Now the ring dings me. Okay. There's balance. So, how, how do I engineer this balance here? I need to be jump blocking, but also my only flyer is Tamio. God, I feel like I'm so screwed. Can I draw cards on their turn? No. <laughs> oh, oh, whole breacher. I hate you so much. Playing around balance. Okay. Well, Spencer's coach. I don't think I have any more outs left. God damn you, whole breacher. So gross. All right, we definitely want the solid subtlety. Stern scolding hits like all their stuff. Okay, subtlety, stern scolding. It didn't show me any counter spells. The berry can also deal with one of those jerks. 
Okay, so what do we take out? Maybe gadget here. Maybe I want counter spell, although not super particularly that much. Oh my god. Man, my deck just cannot beat Hole Breacher. Dress down is interesting. I'll just go full control. Let's take out the green talisman, mind stone. Force negation. Cut the sunfall on the play and what else? One more thing. Got my next star. Oh, I like the star. Got the tinker, maybe? Because they haven't shown me counter spells yet. Oh, God. I'm going to keep this, but only because I can get Meticulous Archive with this Scalding Tarn. Guess. Uh, yep. All right, that was not a bad thing to find, assuming that it lives and we don't get a whole brazier to death. So far, it's living. Let's go to combat. Let's ponder. Star Tutor Teferi. I mean, I like all those. Let's go. Very not gonna tutor right this moment. Star. No shuffle. <laughs> Three man. I want to flip this right now. Because they're going to, they can, uh, I guess they can still skyclave it as a planeswalker. Skyclave me, and I can balance. Mystical Tutor for, yeah, probably balance. That's their 
play. And do draw three cards in the turn. Do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got her. Oh, they disconnected. That's interesting. I don't need to get balance yet. Save it for fractured. Don't have Tinker anymore. Maybe I should. They showed me a bunch of flash creatures. I haven't seen any counter spells yet. Oh, they came back. Okay. Library. Okay. I guess I'm gonna fractured. Is that a better out to to ferry here? Coat, huh? It's interesting. Let's get my fractured identity now. Ah, they do have counter spells. Look at that. God fucking damn it. And Palace Jailer. Oh boy. Cryptic Code's gonna have to do some overtime, I think. Well, now we know they have counter spells. Good for us. Ooh, a daze. That's not. That's not very helpful, actually. I can't even. I'm gonna put this spell bomb in play. That way, I don't get completely owned by a whole breacher.
Ooh, we drew Academy. Coat. Counter spell in the coat. Uh, I can bounce the coat, but I can't recast it this turn, so now we pass. I think this might be a little too little too late. Fair enough. Okay. Take four. Okay. God, it sucks so bad that they fractured it in my fairy. Went the counter spell back up. Okay. Well. Oh, you're late, stern scolding. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I oh, if I would have dazed that, they couldn't have paid for ward. Shit. I would have got the monarchy. Crap, crap, crap. That was bad of me. Oh, timeless dragon. That's pretty cool. This Teferi is just gonna like alt. Oh. My own Teferi is owning me. Mm hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have bounced that one. I should have, I needed to bounce something I could turn scolding. Okay, well, I've been scolding that. Oh, they're holding up so much mana. God, I am so dead. I'm like dying to this fairy emblem and just dying to creatures. Hmm, subtlety is kind of interesting. Let's attack the fairy. 
Yeah, if I would have dazed that wandering ember. Interesting. Um let's subtlety the solitude. Enemies it's not doing anything anymore. Oh no, I needed to God fucking damn it. Play this game so badly. I dazed the wandering emperor, they could pay for it, but they wouldn't have been able to exile my disguised creature. Yeah. And now my academy doesn't tap for anything. And we die. We died of blue white control. They're more controlling than we are. Oh, I could have dazed that. It doesn't matter. I'm just punting. All right. Well, that was uh, something. Thank you all for, for watching that train wreck. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a secret hashtag. And the secret hashtag is fractured dreams because our fractured journey got countered and they owned us with theirs um don't have much else to say about that we also didn't get the um didn't get the sword of the meek all right so use that huge secret hashtag um in your comment on youtube when you see this video uh, and if you're subscribed and you get feedback, then boom, you're entered the winner booster box. It's that easy. You can use it once per video. Not everybody knows that. And yep. Unfortunately, this deck was really sweet, but it just couldn't beat a more, I had a hard time beating a more controlling deck, especially with some really land heavy hands although i did keep that one six card hand six land hand with the archive and we lost that um but i don't think we lost it because of the keep was that the game was that that game i think it was because they exiled my tamu yeah yep sometimes the fractured identity gets you um oh my god did i have days up when they fractured i don't think i did i'll have to go back and look but uh that's just not a not very well played game um total blowout especially when they had a counter spell for my fractured did i have days then uh i think they could have played around days then anyways Thank you all for watching so much and please uh if you like this kind of content any kind of magic content i do cube booster draft mostly that's about it um if you like what you see here please go ahead and do all the free things that support me which that includes on twitch liking or following ringing the bell when i go to see when i go live and as well as um subscribing with prime gaming or subscribing for six dollars a month if you can afford it on youtube that is watching till the end subscribing those two biggest things i need to ever get paid plus i'd love to hear feedback positive negative hopefully constructive but doesn't really matter um and in comments or you could also ring the bell there and 
to see when I go live. So thanks everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.